Here's another one of our self-help tips. Um, what I oftentimes ask patients to do that have sciatica problems, hip problems, back problems, I'll say take advantage of little times in your life when you can do things. Maybe during a commercial break, um, I have an electric toothbrush, it, it runs for three minutes. So I'll sometimes have them squat down and hold that squat. You can hold on here if you need to, and I go down as low as you can. You try to keep your heels down. Uh, some people can't do that, so they'll, I'll have them use a stool that's nearby and have them come down just above the stool. And then if they're there for a matter of time and then they want to go down and rest, they can do that, but it's a good way to do that. A lot of what we're going to talk about is uh, thighs and hips and pelvis related. Um, these muscles are bigger, they can handle stress better, and we don't use them like we used to back in the caveman days. We're not splitting firewood and carrying buckets of water. Instead, we're placing muscles, or excuse me, strength, or excuse me, stress, if you will, on the little muscles that hold each vertebra together. This isn't as strong as all of this can be, so that's why we're going to be focusing on that in the future with regard to more of these uh, self-help tips. So stay tuned for more tips.